she also was going to give Joker 1% of his power, but the Joker tricked him into giving him 99% of his power, and Joker became Emperor Joker, and as a joke, ate all of China. I'm not kidding, it's not a one-off thing in one comic. And he quickly don't and, and, and he quickly gets defeated. No. It's a whole comic book. Of Joker torturing Batman, killing him, bringing him back to life just to kill him again and, and then repeat. Batman's memories are so fucked up his head is from this that he don't think he'd be Batman anymore. That's how fucked up he is. That Superman has to take Batman's memories from him and put them in his own head. That how fucked up the Joker got Batman. But then again, you'd be fucked up too if you if your whole life just ended up being dying, coming back, dying again, and I'll repeat. But yeah. Coming back and having his fun with him. We never really get that cleared out in these initial comics, but over time, as the imp's history gets deeper, we know that Superman can't even hold a candle to him. The Earth-1 variant has a very similar origin story, except for the bit where he conducted random tests on life forms from the third dimension, and apparently, some of these life forms didn't survive the experience. When he met Superman, he got quite mad that he couldn't make him angry or even suffer, really. Clark was just too good-natured for him, which is why Mixus Pitlick, yes, this is where the spelling changed a bit, kept coming back to try and annoy him again and again. The only way to defeat Mr. Mixus Pitlick was if you could get him to speak his own name backwards. And considering how his arrogance got the better of him, he was tricked by Superman and actually did say it a couple of times successfully. Oh, and by the way, yes, this is the Mr. Mixus Pitlick that most of us know. The Pitlick from the Silver Age of DC Comics. In his earlier days, he met Kal-El back when he was Superboy in Smallville. Pitlick started his routine by pranking the young Kryptonian, going as far as to create an illusion of the boy's father to get him away from Earth. However, believe it or not, it was Pitlick's father, Fusastel, who told Superboy how to send the imp back to his own dimension. This would be the reason for a mutual, let's say, disagreement between father and son for eons to come. Another time, Mr. Mixus Pitlick returns to Earth to save Superboy from the Kryptonite Kid. Then again, as expected, we find out that he only did this because he didn't want his source of entertainment to die. In another incident, Pitlick sent Superboy and Lana off to the fifth dimension while he remained in the third dimension himself. In this scenario, Superboy manages to trick people from the imp land into bringing Pitlick back to their dimension while Clark and Lana went back to theirs. There was even a time when Pitlick came to Earth to find that Superboy was off on a mission. So it was just him and the super dog, Crypto. And yeah, Crypto managed to trick him by disguising himself as a dog from the fifth dimension and wore a collar that had the magic man's name spelled backward on it. Lo and behold, Mr. Mixus Pitlick got duped by the Uber dog and sent back to his own dimension. Yet another interesting prank that Pitlick pulled was changing his name to Mix Pixum, which is spelled the same backwards and forwards. So in his head, this was a foolproof plan for him to annoy Superboy forever. However, Clark pulled a fast one on him by using some amnesia dust, making Pitlick forget that he had ever changed his name in the first place. Then he proceeded to trick him into saying his name backward and, well, you get the drift. Quick side note on why he's bald on the top. The Legion of 